Ain't nothing changed. The world's still being destroyed, still going down. Man ain't changing. And Yahuwah ain't backing off of what he say he going to do. His intent is to destroy that place with all the Rosha in it. And so that's to make sure we don't be counted among them. Every time we come together, not even before then, I mean even before we come together, it's always good to do self-examination for everybody daily. That's some of y'all be considering where are you with Mr. Yahuwah along with all the things we deal with on a daily basis, bills, marriage, kids, health, whatever the other situations are we deal with, you know, just self in general, always consider your salvation. <clears throat> That's the most important endeavor you ever make. It's an endeavor, it's an attempt, simply because we've done so much. You know, it's kind of one of the things where we chance in it, you know what I'm saying? It's our goal, expectation, that we'll accomplish what it is we try to um, do in this um, salvation. Thing. Everybody won't get it. As they're being honest with you, everybody won't get it. It won't be because it's not available. It'll be because everybody won't do what it takes in order to achieve it. Everybody has levels and everybody got tolerance. And everybody levels and tolerance don't allow them to go all the way. Some people are comfortable with just the dress. Some people are comfortable with the Shabbat. Some people are comfortable with paying tithe. Some people are comfortable with not drinking and not smoking. But there's some internal things that we have to fix that. Uh, even more pressing. Not that those aren't, those are very essential things. Hanging up, Chris. But uh, it's just those things that we have to really set back to consider how important it is that we um, make sure we, you know, gain our salvation, especially for our young people. Chris, I'll call your name because I had to call the name to try to help you with all these young people. See, where y'all at in the state where um, I was talking about uh, my kids, uh, my boys, uh, last night I was telling them, uh, man, something that I can't tell them how. A lot of y'all coming at a young age got a good opportunity not to make all the mistakes we made. Some of us, I came in 26, but, you know, I'd done a lot. I started early, real early. And hanging around older people put me into a lot of stuff. A lot, I was a lot more accelerated than a lot of the kids around me from going to the club too early. You know, all while it's cool and it's nice, it puts you into a lot of things that really hurtful things. You know, a lot of people think that's cool. I remember girls, you know, elementary, they were dating guys in high school. Back then, you know, elementary went to seventh grade, high school was, went to high school in eighth grade, went middle school um, in DeKalb County. I remember girls, they, you know, whether the boys could have just been saying, you're my girlfriend, or whether they were actually girlfriends. We were seventh grade and sixth grade, and they were dating boys in high school. And a lot of times, people don't realize just where they put you at, accelerating you, and then you, you open up a lot of different spirits, behaviors that you get yourself into. And later on, it wind up affecting you in relationship. It just affects you, you know, in general. I know people say, oh, you know, there's no problem with the man being older than the woman. I don't have a problem with that. I just don't like a lot of distance. I'm just a different type of person. People can say what they want. It's a maturity level you need to have, too. You know, you could date a girl too young or a woman too young, and you hadn't let her really mature into her position, and you could be more detrimental. Some people got too much street hustle, and you get somebody with too much distance, you wind up making a mess out of them. And by the time they get to where they need to be, they're so far advanced and they burned out. People don't realize you could burn people out too. How many people know what I'm talking about? It's just being honest. You put too much distance on people, you can burn them out. Too much experience is not good. Some people, well, it's good the man have experience. He had too much experience. Some people experience, man, you need to get you somebody a look closer to you. You could burn somebody else out. You know what I'm saying? And by the time they get them, say you get them at 20, then by the time they get to 30, they already had 50 years worth of experience, and now they just burned out by the time. They ain't good for nothing but the grave. You know what I'm saying? Just tell you, a lot of that fast running street, I did it. Man, burn you out. People think it don't. You might have the age, but you've done so much mentally and you've done so much physically, it just burn you out. Y'all, listen, enjoy y'all you. I know it might say, oh, he's saying that. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, that's the truth. You'll be out of it before you know it. You can get out here and burn yourself. Like being here while you're here, shh. Man, you don't want to get out here and get them terrified about them 75 men you slept with. And that right, that just being under, boot the hole, open wide open, get them terrified, them burnt yourself out. Be everybody saying this, scratch you off their list. Not interested. Not interested. They, they know, am I telling the truth? Man, you get to say you're settling out, shh, man, let them have. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be nice, be like, I want to get experience. I want to get out here. Some experience will hurt you. Some experiment will tell you, it opens you up to experiment. And before you know, you experiment the wrong stuff. Like some people, people don't start out with little kids and baby with cocaine. They don't start off with it. You start out with other things. Now the why that don't hold you. Now you start moving. Then there's groups you're around. 
your group too mature and your group get to moving and you got to fit in with your group. And before you know it, you moved up from a little drinking, a little marijuana smoking, that thing, no, you snorting PCP. That's how my friends them did it. It's just Mr. Hood kept me. I didn't get into it. I almost did it, though. I ain't going to tell no lie. I almost did it. My peer group. My crew. I remember one time we was in the circle. Man, it was a bunch of them. Man, it was in the circle. They were passing that thing around. They were snow. I was looking at that thing. were coming on around. When I looked, he said, he looked, he said, you better not get it to him. Told him, he going to knock them jokers out. Them jokers went right on by me. Listen, he told the joker, he said, you better not get it. They played that joke right around me. Kept moving. I'm looking, like, don't even think about it. They were just snow. But, you know, it was on that night. We was out, we hanging. This is a bunch of us out here and everybody out here. Shoot, I like that thing pad. I'm gonna go and stick it in, hit it in my nose. That joker let them joker know. They gave it to me. He's gonna break them joker back. Everybody respected him and moved that thing right on around. Like, you won't be getting it? And, and they knew he was dead serious, too. I appreciate Mr. Yahoo, though. He put that in him. You know what I'm saying? He could have, Mr. Yahoo could have said, You in him. You start snowing, too. I could have been out there with a sister with a pocketbook. He got to talk them to something. A lot of folk talk, but you get out here and you own up that stuff. It's a lot of these people, before they start, they want that about being gay. You own up spirits when you start playing with that stuff. I'm man, them spirits. I'm telling you, oh, a lot of folk, I'm telling you, I started with some guy. From what I knew, these guy was solid. You got what I'm saying? Shoot, what I'm joking, had on the dress. I just can't believe, I didn't want to say him. He told me, he's a man that got on the dress. I said, I couldn't even imagine the kind of guy, I just couldn't imagine him with a dress on. And I didn't want to see him. Now that part I just said, I didn't want to see him. Because you know what happened? Them spirit, he wound up opening up that cocaine, play with that cane. You can't play with it. I don't, playing around a little snowing. Snow went to sprinkling it on the weed, smoking it. Snow went to getting that rock, cracking that rock up, putting that, sp you smell that thing, go, you said, you like, I know that man, he got rock. I, I knew some of it putting powder on already I went too far. But you smell that, that ain't nothing like that, listen. When a geek joint, you know that thing. I can still smell that stuff. You can't fool nobody, no geek. You get this, you get this. You like, and it stinks so, it stinks so. I mean, the smell of it, it just right. You like, then it just be sitting back chilling. That thing, you know, ain't be long. That ain't all you're doing. It done hit that pot. You, mm -mm. I, I don't, don't believe nobody. I used to just sprinkle it. I used to just crack the rock up on my weed. That ain't all you used to do. Man, that's a show enough hit right there. Then I had them friends out of the wild. You know when they get to go on, you have some weed, you pass. Them niggas look at that You try to figure out. They look. They be like, yeah, this thing had me hallucinate. You like, weed had you hallucinate. They fog it. They don't. They ain't got too much of that rock. They can't touch weed no more. I seen it too many. I know it right off the reel. When I see them, they don't want weed no more. They say, I already know what you're doing. You learn and you start watching people's behavior. They straight gone. I know when they get when they get hit in that dope and they get on that pipe right, they can't smoke no weed no more. They'll take, mm, mm can't touch it. They tell you they have me hallucinating, messing up. They can't take it. That's a clash. You can't fool with it. I appreciate Mr. Yahoo. He done kept me. Listen, back when I was out, I could always smoke weed. That was never a problem. I never had a, I smoke weed, man, sometimes. I smoke so much weed, I got and I couldn't breathe. I ain't lying. That thing gets started up. I feel my chest. Listen, I pick up the phone. I dial 9 1. I said, Jeff, before I feel like I'm finna die, I'm gonna hit the other one. I do. I sit and hold the phone. I put that there. I said, man, I know I'm done. I wait a little while. Put it out. I said, that thing gone. Pick it back up. <laughs> right, be like, listen, didn't have a, it was that high stupid. Listen, this is no lie. I will pick the phone up and put 9 1. I like, I don't want to call them, they come. And then I had to tell them, hey, I'm good. Then you're in the system. When you're in the street, it just, you don't dial a certain number. You don't dial them numbers. Because them folks want to talk to you and want to know why you call, what you do. We just need to get your name. You're like, this too far. So I hit now, I said, before I fall out, let me hit that other one. So I wait a minute, that thing go away. I put it down, pick it back up, start back smoking. When I tell you that weed make a fool out you, pick it right back up and smoke it. I mean, they don't be like, I'm going to wait, chill out, this or no. Not at all. Once I get that death feeling, go away. Light that thing back up. When I tell y'all, Mr. Yahoo will get you. Listen, I done done some dumb stuff now. We, people that we be, we mess your mind up. I done done it too long, I know. People say it don't, but it, it affects you. It got effects on I did. I done some dumb stuff. I did. I was pretty, 
laid back, and I know how to do stuff, you fooling yourself. We done mess your mind up. I tell you, I smelt it now. Somebody was at the gas station the other night. He was smoking. He just walked through the parking lot. That Joe just walked. And I'm part of the gas. I had Justin or something. This guy just walked through. I said, that man just walking out the door. I'm like, this man finna get himself shot. He had no idea. I'm like, he weed, he just standing out, he just standing out talking, just standing in the street, smoking out the there. I said, little did man know he gonna get himself killed. He come on that truck. I'm not in no mood for no. I'm like, this man just walking like it's just legal, just normal, just smoking. And just people get out of their car, people are like, you finna try to jump in the truck, you finna get yourself hurt. Lose your life or send out here that weed gonna make a fool out of you. But, you know, it let him stood that way he was in the street, standing. It made no sense you ain't got no car. I don't know why you stand at the gas station. You finna get in some trouble. All you finna do is get hit. You blocking the pump, it gonna go sour. But the weed didn't let the rest that. I don't have a car. I don't need to be standing on here by a gas pump. Because, you know, everybody looking at getting jacked now. Ain't that right? Appreciate the people that uh, keep their guns away from them and unload it. Appreciate all of them. <clears throat> There's some people there, I guess for people there are blessing. <laughs> Isn't that right? Keep a gun, don't even keep it on and don't even keep it loaded. Now at that point, you might have just carry a rock. <laughs> I mean, I, tell, I put mine on with my draw. They can say it I get my pants on. I think that. That ain't make no sense. I don't know why you keep a gun and don't keep it loaded and don't keep it on you. I don't know, maybe the crook, maybe it's some new crook they let you go get it later or something. And let you cock it later on or something like that. I got some more of y'all like that. And prayer warriors. What kind of prayer y'all pray you don't need, you can leave your, it don't make no sense to have you, you ain't gonna keep it on you. I don't, I don't, I don't look at myself being no dang, I'm looking, I'm trying to help you. You know that right? I don't want you to have this footprint on you. So a little hole will be better. <laughs> a little hole in the front better than me hitting you with this shoe. Ain't that right? Give you a little hole, you'll be all right. I don't, now the back gonna be different. But I know what the front gonna look like. Y'all all right? Man, these folks out here for the taking. It's unfortunate. These people out here take your life, won't think twice about it. I tell you, for I encourage people. You get your gun, learn how to use it. I've been telling y'all about that stuff. I know folks be like, yeah, I'm trying to work on something. Whatever you're working on, these folks already done worked on it. And they don't work on taking your stuff and your life. And later on, they're going to be in somebody's courtroom crying, talking about things could have went different. I rather be in the courtroom talking to their mom and I'm saying, I did you a favor. Isn't that right? I did your faith. Now you ain't got the one away yet. He in the grave. Yeah, yeah now, or she. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all now, now, with all that, no pronoun, you can shoot a woman like a man now. Because yeah. really, what did you shoot? This nothing you brought. Ain't no more now. You, can't pu you can punch a woman red in her face. I don't know. Somebody, you can't holler at no more now. We can't have it both ways. Yeah, heal the lady. So I did not heal a woman. <laughs> and I heal a dim. <laughs> Police come. You hit that woman? No, sir. I heal a dim. I can't hear the woman. See, now it backfired on that, it? Can't pay for no ticket no more. Isn't that right? Just for country's sake, though, if you haven't said, please call a woman. Please don't call her them, because you might mess up for now and get in your psyche. You in there go grab the wrong one of them. Isn't that right? Then you may run and get them monkey pop. That them too, isn't it? Them monkey pop? Them AIDS? That's on the them too now. Don't mess around and go get the wrong them. Y'all all right? So what's going on? Mississippi, messed up. Jackson, Mississippi, y'all seen that? Flooded out. Man, we got people down there that watch us. Certainly my Palau. Um, definitely, definitely been Palau for those we got. I think Derek is down now. Um, I know Sean and his daughter, certainly praying for them. Palau and for them and other people as well. Um, I can only, I mean, you couldn't imagine. You know, you can't get water from anywhere, not another flush a toilet, put out a fire, and you got water all around you. Only Mr. Yahoo could do something like that. Let you look at water you can't even use. And you got to have water. But it's, it almost seems retarded in a sense that you're like, how do we need water and water everywhere? Only Mr. Yahuwah could put them in a situation like that. And I know they're saying <clears throat> that uh, Jackson is what, 90% black? So-called black? 80%? 84%? Hold on. Is it 80 or 84? Look it up, boss. We don't have that. Kara said he heard 87. They found who close. No, 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 don't try to move no 82. <laughs> Kira said 87, you said 84. Who, you told him 82? Hold on. They, hold on, I right, look this up. You hear that? All right. Boston, we got three, three challenges. Chris is 84. Dave is 82.7. And 
82.4. And then you said 80, how many you said what? 87. And that's what he said the first time. 87, 82 point something. That's what it is. <laughs> they ain't got it. That tight. 82.4. <laughs> oh, here. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Now here you go. Here. Now here you go. What sense is it that? The same sense as you look at. Probably the one that got the 50. They probably used the one with the 1,200 people out of 384 million, and that's how you get the exact number. <laughs> Cause really, you think if you need 1,200 people to tell you what 380 million doing, Jackson, Mississippi, you don't need but two niggas. Probably 1.1 nigga tell you exactly how many you got down there. So that's what happened you start doing the number. What, number. what percentage you need to know how many is in, in Jackson, Mississippi? That's going to be tight. If we're using 1,500 as the number for 382 million, then we can't use 200 for Jackson, Mississippi can't have no more than what? Less than 5 million people? A hundred some thousand people. It don't take but one nigga. A hundred thousand. In a major city? They kill that many niggas in Mississippi? A hundred and eighty some thousand people in a capital? Man, they had more people now than the capital riot. Jackson, Mississippi ain't got about a hundred and some thousand people. How that's the capital? Huh, I am so, how many of y'all man I had no idea? Man, that like Kanye. The capital? Atlanta got more than 100,000 people. Hold on for a minute. We're not doing that. Hold on for a minute. Did y'all just hear that man reply? I said Atlanta. He said Atlanta's not a normal city. Are we doing normal city or abnormals? Are we doing cities? Oh, yeah. That's called we here. 500,000. Four five hundred in the set line, probably like five hundred some chain. Look it up. I'm saying five hundred some chain, and now easy Atlanta, five hundred some chain. Yeah, that metro gonna metro gonna be almost metro should be about five million. Metro gonna be over five because they were actually trying in 2008 they were actually had well 2006 seven they were predicting by 2010 we we're gonna have 10 million, but the crash came. That's what messed up and that's why Atlanta first took over their housing market. They were trying to get Atlanta. They were looking predict. Atlanta was blowing up. They were looking for 10 million people here. That's Metro. But then you got to remember, they done spread the Metro out further since then. Metro was never Conyers. All that. You had DeKalb County. Some of that would be Metro. But now it's like Lithonia was never included there. It just has spread. I think they probably go all the way to Covington for Metro Atlanta. How many? 510,000. Huh? So we got like. Five niggas for every one nigga they got down there. What's the capital in Alabama? Montgomery. Man, pathetic. I would never make the city Dr. King got rocks thrown at him at the capital. <laughs> Anybody throw rocks at Dr. King, you ain't got no business being no capital. Ain't that right? That's crazy. Montgomery terrible. I, listen, the biggest thing in Montgomery is the Hyundai plant. I drove the parts down now. At least for the bills. I know it. Now, how many people in Mount Gummy? About 200. 367. 367. No, that's pretty big. Alabama? It can't be. It ain't right. We rolled through that body. I ain't seen not one nigga. I know it. We rolled through that. The gas station all was self serve. I'm talking about you walk in and do everything yourself. You know, and then they, and they have signs and cut the light off. I ain't, no, I ain't no 300 some thousand people in no Mount Gummy. Now, Memphis going to have a lot of them. How many Memphis got? Huntsville, the biggest city. Out. Oh, them. look at this. Sir. I know. Huntsville ain't no. Why you think they call it Huntsville? They track a nigga down. You know, they make a veal out of hunting people. It's serious. I mean, you born right here in Alabama, South Carolina. You born in Georgia. Well, you down in the country part of Georgia. What part you born in? In who? Athens. I'm born in Calhoun. Right up in Calhoun. Ain't no niggas in Calhoun. About 10. 
I've been down to Calhoun, yeah. Calhoun, a little hidden away, a little spot too, people don't know about it. Before you get to Dalton, I ain't no way I ain't been there. John been all through that play. I know every nigga. I seen every nigga in Georgia. They ain't got a nigga I ain't never seen. I spot, if there was a newborn come, I seen him when he was an embryo. I know these niggas around here, yeah. I, ain't, I don't know how you get from Athens to Calhoun. But your dad was a pretty, y'all were moving over there. I didn't think they had no nigga churches in Alabama, in um, Calhoun. It can't be much. It can't, y'all about one of the only nigga churches up there, too. Yeah, probably y'all and one more that were burnt down. I mean, that's how I'm praying you don't even put a nigga church in, especially Alabama. You remember how many nigga churches y'all had in Alabama? You, you were smart. You got out of there early, man. Alabama rough. What you saying? How many, um, Memphis? Uh, 600 and, uh, Them niggas ain't killing enough up there or something. They got 600 and some thousand? They might be having some slow weeks or something up there. How many niggas in Chicago? What you figure, Ken? 10 million. Probably, probably a million. Major city, what you? Three million? Eight million. Nine million? No, he's saying Chicago. No, he's looking up this show. Well, not just, when I'm saying nigga, that's everybody, though. It is 2.7 million just in the city part of Chicago. Because Champaign is outside. They'll claim Chicago, too. Champaign. No, no, Champaign will claim it. Oh, we had a Champaign nigga down here. Don't play that. He claimed Chicago. Remember that? No one can not, yes, he did try to claim no, he was from Champagne. He tried to claim. Yeah, it's a lot of folk claim Chicago on the outskirts. Cause they know you say Chicago people like, oh Chicago. That nigga be wet. They be from Chicago, they be from Illinois. Out in the in the plain area. Them guy, them folk don't be out for no play like that. Yeah. See, I'm from Atlanta. Great tip baby. Cross the street, Hugh Spaulding. Put this thing together. Y'all got what I'm saying? Now my wife from down the street, P Street. The wife out of Peach, that's why she thinks she white. She was born at Piedmont. Crawford Long. That nigga wasn't supposed to be there. That when they had that, you know, they had to let every now and then they had to let one nigga come through there so they looked like they were integrating. That's how she is. She know good way. Her mama, they had that by mistake. You know good way you ain't going to. In 1970, how many niggas you know were born at Crawford Long? Black folk didn't even go in no, no Crawford Long, did in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Did you remember? Did you go over that mama? My mama didn't go, so I know you had no business over there. Why you ain't go? Because we're white. <laughs> couldn't afford it. I know she couldn't afford it. They stayed up the street from us. Them niggas ain't had more money than we had. I don't know how the world they gonna have more money than we had. Them niggas, they like three blocks spit over from us. Oh, good way, we in the same hole. I'm trying to act all city. No oh, good way, she had no, I guarantee you, I still got an outstanding bill. You tell me your mom and daddy, you tell me they don't pay that high pedal bill off. You seen it? Exactly. My guarantee you go there and pick that phone up, they cross alone. We want that money for that nigga. I, I ain't no fool nobody. You know she ain't pay that. I guarantee they had to gun shoot your mom and them drunk. I guarantee they gun shot it. You know them niggas ain't paid them bills. How that bill was back, they know they were late paying them bills. You gonna tell them they paid that bill on time when they came? I don't believe it. <laughs> How many y'all believe it? 1970 niggas struggling. Huh? No. Man, a crop alone bill? No. Crop alone with lily white. You weren't born in no crop alone. You weren't, like, especially like Northside. I don't even know Northside even invented back then. It definitely wasn't no niggas in no Northside. Scotty Wright, a nigga didn't know how to spell Scotty Wright, let alone get them. You weren't born at Piedmont, crop alone. Uh, what's the other in Drew Hill? Em oh, definitely. Em the only time they bring a nigga in there, they experiment. They cutting some out, nigga, man, they checking monkeys. You going to the C, nigga think they went to the hospital or that? You were going to the CDC. You ain't went to no Emory. Nigga, tell me, I was born at the Emory, you born at the CDC. <laughs> man, nigga, <laughs> man, I'm telling you something. Listen, I'm telling you, Eggleston. They, do, you, do you ever remember having a conversation with some more black folk talking about taking their child to Emory? Uh, taking their child to Eggleston and Scott is right. Nigga didn't talk like that. 
Man, no. Nigga, they don't know how to talk nothing like that. How many of y'all from Atlanta? Care, do you remember that? When do you, when do you remember learning the words of the hospital Scott is right, Smitty? Eggleston. When you was a little kid, everybody went no Eggleston. Man, they turned the ambulance right back around. They white fun to let you out now. Now, now niggas get to go to these places. Well, they don't go now. I definitely ain't going to grade And if I get shot or something, I'll catch on fire, take me to grade As soon as I get better, get me out of there. Oh, you're going to grade it. You ain't going to get seen for a long time. Man, the only way Grady's going to see you're going to still have a little blaze. Other than that, they're going to roll you right now. How to put up by that nasty bathroom. Well, they, listen, Grady bathroom smell like something you can't describe. That's no lie. I went, listen, I went and held my breath and met around and breathe. I done nothing. I ain't lying. I can't even, it'd be different you say it was stinking. I'll be telling you a flat lie. It was every foul, creeping thing. I, Man, let me tell you something. When Grady had a bathroom, when you open that door, get back. Get the, it better you go in locked. Don't go in. If it locks on it, don't come in. They dead. All right, you go in there you want to. You got to tell a lot. You got to go find a hospital. Go around and find. Really, what you have to do, don't tell people I told you. Go in somebody's room, act like you had a visit them. Shh, yeah. that stone said, I don't want you to talk. I said, go in the ICC room. Them ICC, and then, shh, to Tennessee. Use the bathroom. It's going your back and going back out. And make sure you move that thing when they hit that thing for the nurse to come. But if you you want them other red room, you just got infected. You don't go to great. Listen, if you go to great, you the bathroom. Don't even, I'm telling another place that's disgusting to use it. That McDonald's beside them. He had to. I shut it down. Man, I want, listen, man, listen, you go in there and get that McDonald's. You got syringes, crack, and the pipe in your bag. <laughs> get one of them kid meal. Man, I'm talking about, listen, man, you get a geek joint already rolled up in your kid meal. <laughs> you better know what kind of toy you got. Your kid back there blazed up. <laughs> like, what kind of toy is that? Man, you don't play around that great hot pillar, man. That, that, that great, that, that McDonald's? No. No, you don't go. When you walk up them steps, first of all, too many steps. That's how you know you're going you're gonna to be a long time. You go to hot pillar, you got to walk up 50 flight of steps to get in the front door and run through one of them doors that keep going like this and don't let you go the first time. You finna be there for a while. Man, look at him. They got niggas in the waiting room like prison. Everybody on the floor with man. You walk in the waiting room, you see most sheep. Folk got their draw drying. <laughs> listen, they got, I, listen, niggas have flour around the picture of their loved ones who in the room. They don't already, be, you want to you like, you think you walked in a funeral home and everything locked, listen. Them folk tape off all their stuff. They go get something to eat. Be sitting in that area when they come back. You'll find out. Man, they're going to have all kind of security that trying to get them folks off of you. I seen a police officer I knew one time. He seen me come down there. And he brought me through there. He said, Pastor, man. I said, he said, come on. He said, come on, take it through him. That nigga brought me through and took me through the jail. I went through there. I said, they got folk locked up. <laughs> Listen, they have a jail. And that joker brought me through the jail. I said to myself, like, they got these niggas locked up in here. Yo, yo, you go to Grady. Grady can do everything. I mean, you can do your time right there, Grady. Okay, y'all laughing. Listen, Grady, listen, they have, Grady ain't got to call no police. Grady, they ain't got to take you nowhere. If you at Grady, you already at jail. You don't play around, you go to Grady. You do something, and everybody got to come get you. You down. And for all y'all city slick with the education, you go to Grady, mind your manners. You see for shut your mouth. You don't be down that greater laughing at folk now. You be, around, you be a patient. You better have some friends with you. Go to popping off of that mouth now. And you see one of them holding up with their kid and got that hand in them neck. Don't fool with them. You get cut up right there. They got that metal detector for a reason now. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, you want to get whooped up? Go down the greater. Now you can talk that track right rock there. No, y'all are all past little word. At greater, you finna, somebody finna get a room. In that round, the baroo. How many of y'all ain't never been to Grader? I tell you what I'm gonna do. I try to get with the police. I need to get with the police. You can't just go there. You can't just walk. Y'all, you can't just walk in. Say you been to Teddy folk. They, listen, you can't just walk up in no Grader. No folks stop. Listen, police. The, what you? Who you gonna see? What's up? They don't let you. You just, I'm just popping through no Grader. This all metal. Listen, y'all laugh. That's fine. Listen. 
I tell you what, go on down the grade and see if I'm making this up. Go sit anywhere you want in there and see. If you just rest for a little while, it's a nigga come on there and sit by you. And everybody in grade is sick, even the visitors. I guarantee you ain't nobody in there wearing no man. Grady ain't everybody, even the doctor sick. <laughs> what you got going? <laughs> what you got? I'm trying to tell you. Mind your manners. I had a joker finna operate on me one time. That joker had wrote up. He was talking. Uh, I said, what you say? I get, man, that man wrote my stuff up. I had to get I was trying to get the bullet out of my leg. I had love before I was like, you know, he was talking down stupid. So the certain guy came in, he looked at paper. He said, what leg is it? I said, he said, what you wrote? He said, what you got in that paper? He went, oh. I let that man, listen, I just walked out. I left. I said, I'm gone. I, I said, you finna get the wrong leg cut? Because once they get in there, once they get in there, you out. They like, at this point, stick a bullet in and let them know the bullet moving came around this side. You got to cover it. Y'all don't know, man, y'all don't know how many folk been messed up in them surgery. Man, they don't cut wrong leg. I'm telling you, stuff you take for granted. Them folk be wrong. They make mistakes. And nobody can't think. Them people just follow, they just follow sheep. Just like you see, they got a sheep show you how to cut a cow up. Am I telling you? Because they tell you where, that's all they're doing. They put sections on where you cut, where joints at, how to get, and all, that's all they know. They don't do no thinking. Ain't nobody's like, use their head to say, let me think about what I'm getting ready to do. They moving so many pages. They just got to go. Keep moving them. They supposed to do their job, anything come down. You look at, look, go in the hospital, y'all don't read it. Go down here in the noon, go in the one. It's a nice sign in the waiting room. Y'all niggas don't read. You know what they tell you? These healthcare professionals are contractors. What did that take? Listen, nobody pay attention, nobody read. I read these dirty walls. They're on all these hospitals, you sit in the room, nobody don't look, it's somewhere. They get the TV over here, and they don't put it near the TV. The TV to distract you is clearly on that wall. These physicians are contractors. They are not employers of the hospital. They're covering them off the rip. They know these guys screw up. They, what they tell you off the rip, they tell you these contracts. You want to know that? That you got somebody who moonlighting over here? This ain't that joker job. Okay. They think about it now, ain't it? You go in the hospital, man, you try your hand with everybody. Everybody at that hospital don't work now. Nobody but the folks up in Billy. If they're a physician, they're a nurse. Most of them, they don't even work there. They ain't even from the state. They just passing through. I'm trying to tell you, folks, man. They'll see that way you got all them separate bills. Everybody sitting in the hospital cover they in. Hospital doing the bill and telling for, hey, you need to get your money. I'm getting mine. That's your bill. You, send, you need to send your own bill. You need to tell them folks about, I'm getting my money. They be on pay that bill. I pay the physician. Anesthesiologist, everybody hearing you separate. You sit right to mind. I paid these folk. No, you paid the hospital. You didn't pay me. Everybody separating themselves. That's how they legally stand out from covering themselves when something happened. See, before these doctors in the 80s and 90s, see, George Bush changed a lot of stuff too for y'all. George Bush passed a law where you can't sue a physician for over $500,000. All them $5 million and $15 million suit, that over with. And it would see well. It, now he got he kind of got a bad um, stigma behind that, but in a sense it kind of in a sense worked. For the fact that it made physicians don't want to fool with you. Yeah, that, I mean I'm trying to help you. You run in, they don't grab me. I'm tired. I really try to help. You. I made a mistake. It might cause you some complications. Got fit, but I'm getting sued for ten million dollars and my insurance getting dropped. Now what good is my license? So now let's go with this. I no longer can work. Because I made a mistake that was corrected, and she should be compensated if she lost something. But the money was so high, nobody would insure me. So now my license that I'm still paying on are done. So when, see, when people tell you a story, most people can't think. They just tell you, job with it. I know why he done it. Because these physicians were looking at, I don't want to touch you. So that's why a lot of folks die. You know what they look at? It's a complicated surgery. What you think I'm thinking? You're talking about I'm still paying on my license. And what if her turn to say, we want to move from here to criminal? So when something comes through and it's tricky, I could possibly do it. Where do you think I'm at on there? So Joy Boy came in and pushed it. You can't do but 500000 Say the insurance, keep it down, kind of help. And then motherfucker getting 500000 Nigga ain't even made $20,000 a year. 
Nigga want to never say they the word from him to Jesus come back who he ain't never been. Let's just be honest. So you need to know the truth. People don't tell y'all the truth. But I'm here to help y'all tell y'all some law that these folks have done and passed, it actually was set for a different reason. It's just when you got the Democrats giving back to you, the Democrats come and tell you something to kind of favor them. The Republicans going to tell you stuff to favor them. The truth of the matter is, ain't one of them honest. That's right. Not one of them honest. When you're a party, honestly, when you're a party line voter, you ain't even a free thinker. That's right. You're just not a free thinker. In your mind, you think you're, you're really not a free thinker because <clears throat> you buy all your garbage from your party. You take what they tell. All of them lie. You got to listen to both of them. They all lie. Listen to the Trump stuff. They ain't had no right to go in trial. Trump ain't legal. Now they up there want to talk. Then you go here saying, hundred and some document we made public. So they tell you what they want to tell. Like people, I just why fuck. Now fuck don't lie. Anytime Donald Trump come out against you, now you fake news. Fox with white folk hope. So when they fuck, what happened? Fox, look, Rudolph Murdoch Mur Mur didn't realize, nigga, you don't got a suit for three, almost a billion dollars. Almost a billion dollars from your lies you done told. You think Fox ain't paid, that's why Fox don't get no break. You're getting sued for a billion dollars? You think that ain't finna shut you down, finna cost you? That's why they won't back it. They're like, no. They're like, you orange cracker. You done made a fool out of us. I mean, how you gonna take, you gonna be cool, somebody cost you almost a billion dollars. Like, no. That's in the suit. What you paying your attorney that fighting it? Them attorneys ain't working for $200 an hour. He screwed a lot of people. Now, now he done turned on Lizzie Graham. He called out on Ryan. Lizzie Graham, who done put their stuff on the line for him. John McCain with his best friend. That's what, the crowd of told everybody, you know what else? Everybody started to look at him and realize, man, you know what, you're an eyesore. As soon as somebody don't say one thing he like, now he come, Mitch McConnell, get Mitch McConnell. And now he done told all their business, which we know. Mitch McConnell and his wife and her daddy is over a big shipping company out of China. And, they, and she was over transportation. In his administration, Mitch McConnell's wife, who was the head of the Senate, for the Republican, or the Republican Party, the head of the Senate. Now his wife was in his cabinet. Then they'll come out. Now Mitch McConnell won't back him on none of this stuff. He pissed about that whole capital issue. So now he done come out and expose him and his wife. They done made their money with China. Talking about the same woman that made money and made you money with China, when that's why you have her in your administration. Because our family is huge in China. They're on a shipping company. Yeah. Mitch McConnell did this and they pocketed money. Talking about the money, she couldn't have pocketed under Biden. When could she have pocketed this money? She was in the Trump administration. So if you knew of this, wouldn't that make you privy to this? That you exposing it now and you ain't getting nothing? I've been told you for, let me tell you something. This ain't no affair, but it's true. White people are bad business people. Let me tell you something. These people ain't not making no money. Listen, it ain't all. The average of these people, y'all say, them how they make their money. They're all crooks. They, they all crooks. They're sitting around Europe. They, 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 they showcase their money from you because they all crooks. They don't make no money because they get out here and they work and make deals. They make money because they steal their position. This is what they do. They go into politics. They line their pocket by sitting these deals up. They bring in all they call their friends. They get their wife. Why you think that woman married though? Listen, you can look at Mitt McConnell, neck hanging down here. Yeah. Mitt McConnell can't get that thing up. He got, I, give you, I guarantee he got one of them pumps. He ain't getting it up by itself. That thing be vibrating. He ain't getting it up by itself. That joke got one of them blow up bed bugs. <laughs> no, he ain't getting it up by itself. I seen that Chinese woman. She ain't getting nothing from that man. He a waste of her time. But he made her money. He fucking don't realize. Unlike y'all, you'll get, well, which you should get married for love. I ain't gonna marry nobody broke though. I don't love you that much. Sometimes you gotta know when love gotta stop. Cause that love will turn. I, I, let me tell you something. I told y'all, break up a marriage, finance. Infidelity, lack of communication. Broke will tear marriage down. You go over that stupid stuff, I don't care about no money. I just want to be in love. Your marriage finna go. Your head, your marriage shot the hill. You can't hold no marriage together with love. I know these people gonna say it. I know him. I don't know what they talking about. It ain't love. At that point, y'all so broke and disgusted, you just gotta stay in there anyway. Too broke to even leave. Can't go nowhere. It's just being honest. Don't let nobody fool you. These folks get you up. But see, white folk, they marry for money. They even have kids too. But they'll set everything up for a future. They think, one thing about it, they'll think for here. Niggas think about the night. I'm finna be banging the night. Oh, it's gonna be all night. Oh, the night, I'm gonna be tearing that thing up. And tomorrow y'all be evicted. 
Because you ain't paid for one night at that hotel. After that, you're outside. White folk get mad. I'm just telling you now, they get their money, get stuff. They get stuff for their future. You don't see white women, when white folk get married, you rarely see them get married and somebody just pop up pregnant and let the guy to set. White folks will tell you, we're we looking to have a kid in like five, six years. I'm telling you, white folks don't do that. Niggas don't pop up, got married, got pregnant 15 seconds after. Because we just going at it. We don't think about bills, setting up pregnant. Again, please don't think I'm criticizing. I'm just telling you the mind of the nigga and the mind of white folk. White folk pre plan. You'll see them. You say, Y'all don't have no kid. They said, Well, we, we went about five or six. You're trying to figure out how y'all plan to do that. Then when they had a kid, guess what? Kid caught it from already set up. Yes, sir. Now you done got bombarded with everything. You ain't even say that. You ain't even think about diapers. Man, that thing came so fast. Take 10 months. That fell out of nowhere. Ain't even bought the first pair of diapers. So now, guess what? You're already hustling backwards. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. So you start off struggling. White folk already put their stuff together before they get married. They already talked about it. They don't talk about it when they get married or they're going to have a kid. They discussed that before. He in college or she finishing something. She got her career. He got here. Everything planned. They need stuff paid off. So when they have a kid, they can say, we can focus on that. She can be at home with the kid working. Your kid at home working, reading, teaching itself. Y'all will be home in 15 more years because y'all working seven jobs. The pay bills ain't got nothing to do with the kid. All right, don't worry about it. I'm trying to help him out. Nobody taught us how to do business. Before you get married, let's see where I'm at. Let's make sure things make sense. Let's make sure we get married, things make sense. Let's make sure where we're still going. How are we going to do this? When you pop and get pregnant, then you're going to be here and do this. I can still do this because I've established this and I have a plan. We never think like that. We'll just deal with it when it comes. Whatever happens, happens. And, you, and that's why we be the miserable people. White people be miserable too, but they'll never show it in faith. It's showing your face you're miserable. White people, they know how to hug and look good and make it look good. They'll never let y'all niggas see they down like that. When y'all don't see on YouTube, go look at up. white folks all unhappy, man. It's it going to be the toothless ones. In now, y'all niggas, y'all all on that woman. Black woman run down niggas. White woman run down white men. Rap. If it's it going to be one they don't want no more and they're done with her. She can't come back over us, straight kill each other. White men not going to do that. They're not going to get out of glory. That ain't your business. Yes, they have problems. They're not going to do that stuff like you. We're so busy at wanting to destroy and kill one another, we don't think rationally. And our kids watch it. They know how to put the right um, uh, uh, action in front of their kids, what they're going to demonstrate, what they're going to do. They have protocol. They got the rationing to what they do. You, you just everything on a whim. You can't live your whole life on a whim. It's got to be some pre-planning. So Yahuwah did everything on a whim? Man had to, listen, before he started, he already had the end. What's your end game? We working on it. How did you get started? You didn't have an end game. See, we're the only people work backward. We're the only people work backward. That's, and that's why you never get nowhere, because it don't make sense to you to plan. You just keep living your life, and things just happen. Things don't just happen. You got to pre-plan. You got to consider. Y'all got it? I'm telling you, you got to think long. You got to think past one day. Get past one day. If you do, I know that you're supposed to live sufficient is. Okay. When it's your mindset, what you going to do? If you don't die now, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You ain't have no plan. You're just living for the day. Hello? I'm just being honest. We got to start changing how we do things. That's why it's so important to look at how he established things and put things together. He put things in place for failure as well as success. Had a plan. Had a plan. When Adam messed up, he had to go make somewhere for him to go. I was already set. I was already four ways set. I already had another son coming. Just in case you didn't do it, I already had son. So when Yehuda failed, what they had to do? Start scraping? Yehuda had to come back, be born again, raised up from a little baby, Pick 12 more guys and try to find one more guy to go to the other level. They already had somebody had been with him from the whole time. Two of them. Because even one of them didn't get messed up. Because <laughs> they got cat two to choose from. Huh? I'm just trying to help y'all out. Though. Why, why we don't think that we need to do some type of pre planning? Why, why, don't, why don't we think we need to think past just today? 
in case. In case. Y'all got it. If nothing else, if you don't make it, have something set for your family or others with you or something. Other than when I die, they just got to figure it out. Why y'all think we're so far behind? You know, if nobody came in front of us to leave something that made sense instead of just telling us, figure it out. You know what kind of piss poor plan it is? By the time you figure that, how long it took y'all, some of y'all to figure out what's going on in life? How many years you figure? I'm saying what I'm saying. How long did it take? Did you automatically just catch this thing right off the rim? What y'all figure time? If you had to say from where you at now to when you felt like a light clicked on how life kind of works. Anybody got an idea? Said 40s, 25? 25 years it took you to figure it out. Just, I don't believe just to figure it out. How many of y'all believe just to figure it out at 25? <laughs> no. Some stuff. Well, when you start figuring how life works, how things actually cycle, and start looking at the importance of why you need to have your head together for salvation, when you're doing it, it takes time. It takes a lot of head button. It takes a lot of just dumb decision, going backwards, losing a whole lot, till you just start catching like, hold on for a minute. Wait a minute. It's like, Shem Shun, let me just go out and bethink myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me get myself together. Because it's like, if you keep looking, you constantly keep losing. It's like, whoa, stop. Stop the presses. It's like, hold on for a minute. Is this the way it's supposed to be, or is it the system that I'm running? Let me tell you how we operate, like a lot of piss poor coaches. Game plan. We've been losing the whole game, pretty much. We start trying to push, and we're about to come up. Look, like we're getting back a little closer. We're down 11 points, three seconds left. I want to call a timeout. We finna go for a play where, you know what I'm saying, where we gonna fire the man, and they got the ball. Three seconds left, we down 11 point. And what we gonna do, we gonna fire them so we can get the ball back. <laughs> try to, you know what I'm saying, try to stop the clock, try to get them to the free throw. And we gonna count on this guy not hitting. And when it come off, I want you to run down here in a fraction of a second and shoot a three and get back down here. Man, let them full have that game. It's some stuff, look. It's that point, and you stop and saying, this really said, Cole, why are, we, why are we doing that? Man, let that thing run, because you got to look like I'm trying. And if it's some play, you, it's no play you finna create. You see a play in three seconds, 11 points down. Y'all both play. It ain't nothing could miraculously happen in three seconds that I can get 12 points. It's impossible. Yet they're going to hold the ball up, just waste time. You're like, man, just wait. And guess what? Truth be told, that's what a lot of us do. And people who know the system know you're wasting time. You don't want to admit you done lost. And then you want to try to come up with something. Let's try to rush and do something. You know what I learned? And I'll tell you something. When you get a nigga try to rush and do something, you should have did it the first time. Had you did what you supposed to do, we wouldn't be down there trying to rush and pull out something in no last three seconds. Truth be told, that's how a lot of us operate. You wait, there ain't nothing you could do to start scrambling. That's a bad technique. Man, I hate seeing games like that. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of that because I hate seeing it. It's just dumb. I see stuff, people start clock. It's just dumb. You're just killing time. You file a man time. Stop the clock. Stop your foolishness. Admit you lost. It's over. Just stop it. You make it something just happen. You just never know. We just come on. You're killing. And that's the truth. You watch them games. That's how pathetic we are, no doubt. You who are looking at us the same way. We are pathetic. The fact that we don't put something in plan, put something in play, put some prevention before we get to the last second to try to get something to work out. It don't work that way. All right, trying to get ready to move forward and trying to get y'all out of here. So I'm going to get Chris and get some rest too. All right, you know how to do when too? Take that phone. I got him to sleep with that phone to eat. He got a phone. Yeah, I, t I wouldn't let him have no phone. I tell you about me. I'm different than a lot of y'all. Let me tell you something. This is the biggest thing he ever do in life, most important thing in life. You don't need no phone. Always in the ear, always going, you got time, you can step, never see you fall asleep. This, this ain't the hurt or nothing. This, this is for a lot of y'all too, kid. Like, let me get that. You don't need no phone. You'll be good. What if something happened? That's what they got them phone book for. You care about things happening, you care about, you teach why they're young. This, he told them, oh, this, this ain't just, this all y'all. Train up a child the way they go so they old they want to depart. You teach them, I know you do, tell them. This is the most important thing any young people going to do. If you don't get your life, if you don't get yourself saved, you don't get your life right, you're ain't nothing you're going to do going to work. Everything you're doing in life ain't going to work. And you don't want to wait till you get old 
and then you done did something like damn it, then you so far gone. Then, it's a lot of people now can't come, they like, you know how many people I had to hear, I did too much. I know they said, because sometimes you done done something, where you start at? Hardy party, when you get so, you done too much, it's hard to get back. It's hard to get him. And it just, you know, you who just saw fit for each one of us to let us in. Man, I, I know I did a lot. It's hard, man. It's hard. I had my life, when I heard from this man, I couldn't hear nothing. It was made no matter how you talking. My whole life was like, stand on that, my life was like this. You talking to the wrong person. My whole life was just flipped. I mean, I just couldn't get it. Well, I, you don't know where to start at. You could be, listen, what's, you guys all sitting here now watching it now. You don't know what it's like to start from somewhere. You don't even know where to start. You don't know where you grab the head or the tail. Where exactly are you at in this? Is this even feasible? Is it possible? Yeah. Man, man, give you a chance to do this. I can't mess this up. Yes, can't mess this up. Most important thing I did in my life. Wow. Got to get this right. I'm just telling you now. But some of y'all who done been here, but see, that's, that's the good part of for a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all ain't had the opportunity to live your life to get to that point. The way it's so screwed up, so discombobulated, you don't know where to start, you don't know where to end, you don't know how to do it. You want to pray, you don't know what to pray, you don't know how to pray. All you do, you want to cry. You need to cry, but you can't cry. You're harboring so much. I've been to that point. Can't cry? I was so screwed up. It's like, what do you cry for? You know you need it, you can't. I mean, oh. Y'all don't know. And when you do cry, it still don't make no sense. It's just so throw. Anybody been like that? You need to cry, but you ain't crying because you're so messed up. You don't know what to cry, really how to do. You need to pray your head just so swimming with everything you got going on. It's like you can't get a prayer. It's like, man, listen, my mind like that like a whirlwind turning. It's like I got so much going on. What am I going to pray about? Man, I, mean, I used to go to sleep. Just, it wasn't in the prayer. But I mean, goodness, man, your life really, you live to die. You just win to die. Boy, you can be out here so far in your life. That's why, like, young people, I don't think, I know it might look like I hate you. Man, y'all got a good chance. All y'all young people, don't put yourself out there. You might, you ain't gonna probably, you might not make it back. You might not make it. A lot of them came from places, man, you, you, you won't make it. Y'all won't make it, man. Your whole life be so far gone, man. You like, I, I, now, it's still just, just kind of blows my mind now to be here for the fact that I didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to do. I mean, it's just, you're just living. It's just, you run. Man, I was just, I was just dangerous. I was just, I was just out here. It's like, you have no idea how, people have no idea how, how dangerous these people are out here. People around you, they are dangerous. They never found, they ain't putting that together. They ain't consider, these young folk, and you know, they think they mind, they ain't even thinking. Do you know how every bad this can go? This is gonna come back to you. And then they sit here looking like, at this point now, I'm so, they look at, they so far at him. I don't need a looking back. And now when they get some age and time, they realize I have wasted most of my life in prison. You can't even make it out here. You, this is your life. You talking about this is how you think this is how you operate. This is how you rationalize. They fight, survival, stay back. You got a joint click up. Is it, what do you come out here and do? Who hiring? Just out of prison. Who hiring? Y'all young people got a whole lot better chance than we had. Nobody didn't really sit down and make sense to us with it. I ain't going to say nobody didn't tell us not to do stuff now. Don't get me saying nobody didn't tell us, but a lot of more time get put in you guys a lot more conversation, a lot more example. Y'all get to hear people telling you. Y'all get to see the mistake people make. How many people you seen gone and come and people that can't get back? Y'all got a good chance now to get it right. But some of y'all ain't going to take advantage of it. You're going to try it because we tried and maybe you'll be like us and maybe you'll make it back. Uh, you need to consider maybe you'll be one that will be at your funeral and ain't going to tell no lie for you either. I do them all ages. I do all ages funerals. Don't let me do yours, though, not as a child. But if you do, let it be that you've been a child, that been a father, you've been obeying. Don't live your life and go through here and just be wasted. I got some folk gone and went through here. That's just wasted time. That's sad. It, it is. It's sad that you came through here and you lived and you died and you wasted time. You ain't going nowhere. Not with your whore. Don't let that be y'all testimony. Y'all hear me? 
Hell, one of y'all in him. Y'all got it. I'll do your funeral. I ain't going to tell no lie for you, though. You forget that one. I ain't going to be able to do it for you. I'll tell it just like it is. I'm just come down the middle. That's the best your family can take. They would ask me, where you think they're going? Ma'am, so I don't do no thinking. I know where they're going. You ain't obey, you got to go to Sheol. Everybody in here, but we're on this side. What are we going to do? This is the best time. Don't feel like, what, this is the best time to get it right. This is the best time to make your reservation. Because when you leave him, if you ain't made him, he made him for you. Hello? They kind of like them lottery tickets. People don't know how to pick. The machine will pick them for you. <laughs> on a plane, buy a ticket and don't go in there and pick your seat. You get you like, man, I don't want this seat. You should have picked a different one then. You had the opportunity, you, you left it to me, and this way you're going. Take the time out to consider your soul salvation. Everybody. All right? All right, I'm trying to talk with y'all. Come on, so I can get, get y'all out of here. Talk with y'all a little bit, <clears throat> so we get out of here. You're who are willing. Dwayne, with them some no name jeans. What jeans? What's the name of them jeans? Levi. You might not have heard of them. <laughs> I heard them, they usually have a label on them. Just not wore the L E off. It's just via. They <laughs> got some via jeans on. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh, Romans 15 and 4. All right, we're using the word program. Listen, for whatever Nikata before was well, Nikata for our Olympic. That's right. All right. That we through endurance mm -hmm. and the comb of the Kitubim uh -huh. might have Tikva. That's why we're here. Make sure we get it. Let's look at. Uh, Let's look at the 12th chapter right quick of the book of Kahala. From the young people. Well, it's for everybody, though. They'll call it Ecclesiastic Kahala, which is the lecture or the preacher. All right. Lesson. Zakar now, thy creator, and the Yamim of thy youth, while the, while the Rosha Yamim come not, nor the Shanim draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Let's see what Zakar mean. That's what it's going to run to for, remember, doesn't it? The great in Hebrew. Zakar, to mark, to remember, <clears throat> to mention. We got to got to be a male. That's one look at. To mention. That's something that um. We, we need to continue to do, which makes sense when he told us um, as far as ye fathers, ye abba, provoke not your benign to wrap your children, but bring them up in the nurture and the admonition. That's what we want to do to mention. This is what we have to constantly do. And a lot of times as parents, and now we have, you know, some might say, well, I don't have the father, and the women. This is something we have to be mindful of doing. The things that we take lightly, are the things that he told us. Because you, you would think 
salvation works differently than it does. It works the way he told us. Okay? The same way he told Musha to teach us is the same thing that the father was supposed to do to his children. He was supposed to teach them. And with the teaching and instructing, enlightening, and showing them so they have a pattern they can follow. And what is, what's happened for us, we fail to do that. What some will say, well, I tell them all the time. I stay on there behind, and I do. Don't forget, to teach is also to show. So when we look at the word, it seems as though sometimes it's ineffective. It's not ineffective. The teaching becomes ineffective because they don't have a pattern. They have to be able to see us following. They have to be able to see us without murmuring and grumbling. They have to be able to see us without complaining and backbiting so they have something to mimic that they can follow. Y'all got it? You can't expect them to just follow off of mere words. That's why Yahuwah sent Yahushua. Mere words didn't do it. Y'all got it? We might feel like mere words. It's the power of the word, the effects. So the teaching is only uh, sufficient for us if the pattern or the person speaking it is a, it's one to follow. You got what I'm saying? That, that's just being honest with it. And that's why we are losing so many people feel like the key to this is just talking about it. The key to it is not just talking about it. We have to illustrate. We have to demonstrate. Y'all got it. And it has to be, that's the effect behind what we do. Um, we'll look at it again. Now he told us the zakah, which was to zakah, which is to mark, to remember. You put something on it to do something so that you will remember. Y'all got it. And a lot of things that Yahuwah did, he did some things to us so that we would remember. Who remember what it was? You did that, Pastor? Oh, I said to us. Okay, to whoever. I got a hand up. He rose. His, um, then you said to us. He said to us. I got a pastor over here and I got a I got love over him. Do we take the bishop, apostle, or do we take love? Wow. So they don't harm, y'all don't know how to harm the bishop? Who we going with? You had your hand up first. You passing it? Or you a harm, that's a lot of pressure. Let me hear what you got. He gave us ots to remember. That's not bad. That's not what I wanted, though. Hold on, I, hold, I got two bishops. How y'all want to do that? Now, he done gave up one time, Jahi. Now, you in this, you in this fight? Woo. What you going to do, Apostle? You going to pass that off? Or you, he said, take it. He can't have no more mess up. What you got? Now, write them upon our law. Let's go at. Uh, <laughs> no, no, what he said. Now, he actually talked about writing upon our law so that nobody would have to teach us anymore. No more did any man teach, it, teach his brother. Well, he's talking about in the book, of, in the eighth chapter of the book of um, Ab uh, Abarim, they call Hebrews. He was talking about no man, no more was every man going to teach his ox saying, no, Yahuwah. He said, every man was going to know me from the least to the greatest. Uh, what I would look at, let's look at Zechariah 1, the first chapter. What that you going to call? What you going to say? Oh, usually we, usually we want you to raise your hand to say a couple of things. What you were going to say, uh, let me just see what he did for him. Oh, uh, TC, uh, Pasak. Wow. Uh, that's what they said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Listen. In the eighth Yarik, in the second Shana of Darius, came the Debar of Yahuwah unto Zachariah, the men of Berechiah, the men of Edu, the Nabi. Well, it's be, uh, they put, it's the. Uh, they do the ooh, the, the e do, because no doubt, because they got the olive, that's kind of tell me that they're using, they probably used, um, they're using the vowel point to try to say that the, the olive makes an I sound. No doubt when they do it. Okay? Well, they're saying e do, that's what he put over him. You're going to look it up, let's see. Uh, that's what I told you. Yeah, I know them every time. Y'all see what I told you? Yes, sir. I already know what they did. This is the um. They're saying it's soft, so they used um, Shiva. Mm -hmm. They're saying that this um, which is a soft A, they're saying that the um makes an I type sound. So when you enunciate, that's how they came up with the, the idu. Y'all see it? 
but how they throw you off is him. So the argument gonna come with Hebrews and like with us, how it used to be. We gonna see them mess us up. It's a um, and they trying to make it an I, but they use the vowel point. So they're saying it is a um. I'm not arguing with you, it's a um. I'm just telling you that your um makes an I type sound when you're enunciating it. It's not saying what you're trying to say. When they heard, apparently, let me say this, quoting from, based off of what I'm saying, would tell me that they're saying when they heard them enunciate this name, that you'll call Ado, Ado, trying to use the um sound. They're saying that actually when they enunciate it, it makes an I type sound. It doesn't make the sound that you're saying. You agree, Bostick? That? That's what I said. Let's say you agree. I ain't wrong. That's what all I needed. Two witnesses. But no, that's it. But typically, that's what. So I wanted us to know that, so you understand. I could pick up stuff when you saw it, when they spell certain things. I already know how to rip what you've done. That's what I want y'all to get. You just start to learn. This is how they're doing it. So now the argument becomes: Yes, it is a um, but when you're enunciating it, it's not making an I sound, right? Just like when you say physical, right? What sound are we hearing? L sound. But we would use the pa. What they would say the p is right. They're saying when you enunciate it, when you're saying that word, that it makes a f sound and not a p. It's not physical. You see what I'm saying? Because that's how they learn how to change things with their vowel points. You got it? Because you got to look at the p should still be the p, right? They're saying it is. But based upon where you're putting it, it makes a different sound. You got what I'm saying? So to understand that, you got to understand from English that they use a vowel point system, and that system helps them know how to enunciate. Y'all got it? They teach us, and they, when they taught us ABC, they never told us that the P makes no p sound, did it? They told us they get you that the P makes a what sound? P, P. Then you look at physical, you say, physical. They say, oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> like, what happened? You didn't teach me that with ABC. You told me P, it makes a P sound. It's a P. But they're looking at, yeah, when you put it in conjunction and you're using these letters with it, it's going to make this sound. Y'all got it? Okay. I'm just trying to show how that works. So certain things now, and I'm telling y'all, so you start watching them. Let's go back over and look at it again. So in the eighth year. See, both of them are agreeing that it's the odd Greeks. Along with them both agreeing when they did it, now they did it is Ado. They did not pronounce it with it. Now this gotta be a problem because now the the vowel point, the what's the vowel point? The Nakud. I think it's the Nakud is the Greek vowel point system. Or is it a Latin vowel point system? Let's see what the Nakud is. They can spell it a different way. You can do it N-I-K-K. U D Nakud. Or they can do it N I Q Q. U D. They say just see it all depends on where you're going. They can do K K U D uh, oh they do. Okay, did one. They can do it N I Q. Nakud vowel point system. Is a who let's see. Two Q. Okay, one K. Hebrew modern term. <laughs> dotting points. It's a dotting point system in modern term. That ain't helping me do that system uh, Diacritical signs used to represent vowels or distinguish. What are you saying? Whose system is this? I know terrible. I don't believe none of this thing. Yeah, you know, it says Samaritan pointing. Yeah, you know, Palestinian vocalization, Babylonian. So they say, oh, to see all of these, yeah, the cool. system. Y'all the Masoretic. Oh, yeah, text. I don't believe. Them. Masoretic. Uh, let's look at, let them look up there with the Masoretic song. You'll get people to say they Masoretic Hebrews too. So the Masoretic Hebrew, the Romanized, Babel, were a group of Jewish scribes, scholars who worked from around the end of the 5th through the 10th century CE, which is what? Common era. Christian era, when you people say common era is typically what they're going to use, CE. I think other people try to call it Christian era. Y'all heard that, CE? They do it Christian era, but it's typically common era. There's no such thing as before Christ. No, don't believe these people. They made this stuff up years after. Nobody walked around before Christ. You know what I'm saying? After Christ. No, don't, don't do this. This is something they came up with. 
in what, the 13, in probably like the 1400s or something like that, when the Catholic priests started coming back, putting these dates down. That's, right. That's how they started going back saying BC and AD, a lot of this stuff. Right? I think the AD was supposed to actually stand for something like the circumcision. It's a great, it's a lot, you know, Adonami. Yeah, it's supposed to have something to do with circumcision for the Latin, yeah, which is a lie. Which is a lie. Don't believe these people. Yeah, they try to holler at for the year of our Lord. They, they don't believe nothing. They say the Latin tell the truth. Because first of all, they never even served him. That that's makes right. Absolutely they no never sense. did. That's right. No, that's, that's the whole problem you got. with well, none of these people, but it makes no sense that the Greeks were walking around talking about no B.C. before Christ. How you know a Christ coming? That makes no sense. <sighs> and all of the Mesa they're going to tell them they came up with this in the cool vowel point system. I don't believe them. I don't believe them because it, it denotes too much to their stuff. Okay, what would they know about an eye type? Makes no sense because first of all, none of, it makes no absolute sense. They use pictograms in their original writings. Y'all got it, they're hieroglyphics. So it makes no sense. I think if man got more educated, of course the vocabulary grew. That's like with anything, you ever care, a child, first thing you teach small kids is stop, no, you know what I'm saying? Dad, dad, mama, or mother. What they say, mama, mama, the teacher. Then the vocabulary grows. Mm -hmm. yeah. You start teaching how to ask. So their vocabulary grows, other things become introduced. And because your lettering system is limited to 22 characters, 22, 23 characters, because you don't even see people use the gun. The G U N, G Y N. I think it's a G Y, you said G Y A N, the gun. The gun is one that people don't use, which is um, it's like a rope. They don't use it. So a lot of times now with the system, since you only have so many characters, a lot of things they came back and repeat. They use like repeating writing style. Now you change the word sound to say it means something different. Unlike English, you can just create and make what you want to make. Y'all got it? The gun ain't even, I don't think it's in here. They don't even have, oh, you don't have the gun. Okay, the gun. Gun. I don't know if that's how they, well, they, I thought it was different one of thinking. Okay, how you pronounce it? The rope, twist, or they saying dark, which is one that's rarely ever used. Okay, I let me say that as system go to, people stop using things. Like in our English letter, it's certain things we don't use in conversation. Certain, mm -hmm. certain words, you know, became antiquated. People don't talk like that anymore. Y'all got it? And then they'll sneak things in and we'll miss it. And because we don't know it, certain things will be introduced and we realize it had an intent, it had a meaning. So when you see it now, you don't understand why they're using it. Y'all got it? Or why they used it in the Old Testament. Okay. Let's go back over. Okay. Ado, the Nabal. Come on, let's see what he said. In verse 2. Uh-huh. Yahuwah hath been sore displeased with your abode. And, you, and guess what they did? Unlike these people, I mean, like these people try to come back now, I stuff with time stamp too. See, even in captivity, we know when. Let's write down, slide that down again. It told you what year it was in. Sure. I mean, what Yarek it was in. It was in the eighth Yarek. All right? And it let you know what year. See, I stuff with time stamp. So when our people went back, think about it, the book is marked to remember. How's I'm going to remember it? That's right. By telling you what year, what month it was, just like you do. What's the day day? The 8th, the 32nd, the 31st day, and 2022 by that day. That's, That's their right. time step. That's what they did. That's right. This was in the 8th year, in the, this was the 8th month, in the second year of Darius. Okay? So they know the room. So they knew that he came in and he came up under... Don't tell me his father, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, Artaxerxes. Did they tell her who was a Hosserus? Artaxerxes. Y'all got it? So Darius was his son. So, but this is stuff, let me say this. They weren't teaching us this. Let's say they let you know whose son it was. The Debar of Yahuwah came to Zachar Yah and let you know who his father was. Right. What tells me is where? He was not the only Zachar. He was not only Zachariah, Zachariah, and let you know who it came to, and let you know who was the Ben of, and then the, the, the Ben of Baraka, what his name, Barakas, and the Ben of Adu, and let you know the Deba, same, let you know who he came to. So all that was important for us to know. So we keep the record. How's it gonna help you, it help you to remember? <clears throat> times and dates, so we'll know. Why do you think he told you of the time and seasons? It's already been stamped. You, should, you know perfect, which means you marked it to remember, didn't you? Mm -hmm. 
Why would I tell you other time and say you have no need I write unto you? For you yourselves know perfectly well. Why would you know perfectly well? Because you remember? Y'all stop it. Y'all stop it. I can teach more right here than you're going to go all through this book. Waste your time. That's right. Tell you time stack. Why? I'm telling you, why he told you the time and season? You know perfectly well that the human you who are so come and when? Thief in the labor. Who told you? Hand for telling you about the thief in the night. Gave you some synonymous or gave you something to it. Leon, you had your hand raised up. Oh, I seen that. Look at Ivan say, I don't know. What, what Leon been there? Hold on now. I got, I got a Wayne or Lamo and I got another. They got the apostle again. Who we going with? And Lamo, was it that? Who gone? Did you mess up earlier? You got one right. Hold on, I just asked. Did, did he get one already? You answer one? You want to get it to the bishop? I'm, I'm getting it right, so you want to get it wrong. Okay, let's go. Tell me. Let me say that before you answer, so I'll be clear. You know what came to my mind? No, I'm telling you, so I'll be clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'll be clear. All right, let me tell you. What I was looking for when we told you, he said, you yourself know that the human Yahuwah so coming as a thief in the night. Now, what would we use? I know what I'm thinking just from quoting it. That would make sense that you could say you knew that. Now, I have Wayno who was passed on by the apostle bishop of the Tus Tusticus. Y'all know who the Tus Tusticus is? That's real high up there. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> of which we can't particularly speak of at this time. Because I just made it up, so I don't know the answer. But so we're gonna go, you passing it. How many on Dwayne gonna get it wrong? Hold on, how many of y'all need to think about he gonna get it wrong? How many of y'all know he's gonna get it wrong? That's tight. How many of y'all say he got it right? So I think some of the wrong people again, they the wrong and the right people. All right, let's see. That's a lot of people. Let's see what you're gonna use. So correlation came to my mind. Correlation came to your mind. That's right. When, how many of y'all don't know what he's talking about? Okay, what he was talking about, the first case that Shalom judged, his Shalom Shalom judged, was two women that came. The one woman, baby had died at night. And while she was asleep, the other woman took her child, and the case came before him that the woman argued that when she had gone to sleep, both the ladies laid down their child, the one woman had fallen asleep and rolled over on her child and it died. She came and took her child and put the dead child under her. And Shalom, Shalom sat down to judge the matter. That's the case he's talking about. Now y'all more familiar with it. So y'all know what I'm talking about now. That it goes right along where he's wrong, okay? Now what he said, let me say this now. He could kind of use something like that to express coming as a thief because a thief would take something out. You could do that. But what I was talking about, he said that you yourselves know perfectly well. Now, this this well, what you said could be used, okay? The only problem what would happen with what you said is somebody like me heard it who will stop what you just said. Because the problem was going to stop it. No, I'm going to tell you why. Because you could use that. Because she took it when? What did I quote? She knew perfectly where that lady was coming. See, that, so something like that would be the argument. Y'all got it? That would be the argument on what you're using could be used, but the problem would become so you say, so she already knew that that lady kid was going to die and she was going to take her baby at night. Because he told you yourselves know perfectly where did he so come as a thief. In yes, sir. Okay, he want to know what my answer is, so he knows that he believe me or Dwayne. I think someone here black done came back in, cause a good clean white man never questioned me. <laughs> now we here. Who else had an answer? Oh, it's a bunch of them got answer. Now let me say now that was, it's just somebody like me gonna look at, listen to the whole thing. So now I'm about he. That was that was a good one, but it's just you understand what I'm saying though. Why that that part could be argued. So this is what y'all remember when you answer stuff. And, and I, my difference when I do with people, you always got to remember the game sale. Okay? Now, they'll leave the point and they'll hold them to, but the question was that you yourselves know. They, so it's about the thief in the night now, 
But now we're dealing with, he's talking about you knowing it. I was saying using based upon what? You knowing it, okay? All right. Um, goodness, tight. Them hands is up. Who finna try to handle I still got Bishop over here, Apostle, who gave it up. No, I got my pastor over here. No, I'm saying, you, know, you gonna let my pastor, you feel, is my pastor gonna get it right? How many of y'all know y'all right about the way y'all proved again y'all right? Where all these other folks at? With this? Hold on for a minute. Rod, was you where he was going to get it right? Well, he was wrong. <laughs> All right, so we're going with my pastor. We're going to go. My pastor or Justin Pastor? I'm just, we're looking. Just one. They could be a pastor about What you want to do? He don't know who to believe. It's that time. He don't know who to believe. Wow. Here we go. Let's see. I want to right now. Right next to Uh oh. Pass what you think. No, we're looking. At, he said he think that's. He said right now he got to believe this. He said he ain't hundred. See my pastor hundred. He said he's not hundred percent. Well, it's just. Let's see. Let's hear what Justin pastor going. Yeah, me and my pastor going. Let's hear what Justin going. Um, pastor going. What you going to say? Pastor Dexter. <laughs> yeah. He the two each watch. He the watch. He the watch. He the watch. Had he what now? You yourselves know? <laughs> well, well, let me, let me, let me, all right, let me go. What, what you got? I right, know we got another one over here. What? We got two. It's a couple of them. Now. I got four behind you. Do I, I don't know what that man said. Just don't know what to believe. What we at? On the core way to make. The when they start explaining, they trying to get in. Go. We want the answer from the teacher. Don't put it on me. Tell him what happened. He gone. He came. He came. And like a thief in the night. Go ahead. Hey, tight. What you got? The tenth plate. The tenth plate. When he killed all the first. A Miss Raheem. Told him. They told him. He was coming. This man named a plate. A number on the plate. Who else had a hair back there? Oh, I got a hob on him. What you got a hob? Barry Sheet. Tell me Barry Sheet. He came. Complete darkness. And the world knew he was coming. Like a thief in the night. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I tell what I do, because I, I think it kind of getting complicated for y'all. Let's look at um, the fifth chapter of the book of Amos. Five and one. Because we're basing off of him. He's saying that you yourselves know. Uh, Moose. Now, I know that kind of threw y'all a little bit. Let me say this what I want. Listen. Shama ye, this debar which I take up against you, even a Ika, Obed of Yasharal. Mm -hmm. The, the Bathula of Yashara is fallen. She shall no more coon. She is forsaken upon her arrival. Oh, I mean, it told you the virgins. And okay, he did. Okay. He said Yashara is fallen. Okay. Mm -hmm. She is forsaken upon her arrival. Mm -hmm. There is none to coom her up. Mm -hmm. For thus said Yahuwah the city that went out by a thousand shall, shall leave in hundreds. And? That, that which went forth. By an hundred mm -hmm. shall leave ten mm -hmm. to the bed of Yashara. Mm -hmm. For thus said Yahuwah, unto the bed of Yashara, seek ye me, and ye shall kai. But seek not Bethal, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Beth Bethal shall come to naught. Mm. Jump down to 17. Listen. And in all vineyards shall be welling, for I will pass through thee, said Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Woe unto you that desire the yum of Yahuwah. Woe ye do what now? 
Woe unto you that desire the yom of Yahuwah. I couldn't imagine what happened. To what end is it for you? Well, the yom of Yahuwah is Kashak is and what? not Aur. Is what? Is Kashak and not Aur. How much light? So you would know it because that's what he told you about it. That the union you who are coming was going to be dark, that there was no light going to be in it. That's why when Yahushua was on the tutor, it was dark. They knew it. It was no light going to be in it. It was going to be very dark. Mm. So that's why they would have known it. Simply because they were taught that the union you was going to be darkness and no light. There was going to be absolutely no light in it. And typically when a thief comes, he comes just like a, in the nighttime. That's when they take. That's when they come. So the fact that they knew it was going to be dark was because they had been taught it by the Torah. Okay? And when taught it, that they just somehow fabulously just knew it. They knew it because he was letting them know that it was going to be very dark and no light in it. Now you can reference over to Barashit when he came. There was no light in it when he came. And when he came, he told you, that the Arats comprehended it not. So a lot of things referenced over, we was able to go back to the Torah and we saw patterns to let us know. That's why it made sense when he was on the two, there was no light. It was the human Yahuwah. Hello? Sir. When did your day start? And he just told you that the human Yahuwah was going to be what? Darkness, that's right, and no light. That's how he appeared. He declared the end at the beginning. Hello? Okay. All right, let's go back to what we had. Y'all look strange now. Y'all don't like it? Yes, sir. I'm gonna choose your how else were they going to know it? How else were they going to know it? He just told them that for those that desired, there were people looking for it, wasn't it? He said that those you that desired, he said, what end is it to you? The human Yahuwah shall be darkness. It's going to be Kashak. And it's going to be very dark. And there's not going to be any or or in it. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Continue to verse 3. Listen. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith Yahuwah of Sabaoth, Turn ye unto me, saith Yahuwah of Sabaoth, mm -hmm. And I will turn unto you, mm -hmm. saith Yahuwah of Sabaoth. Yes. Be ye not as your aboth, aboth, unto whom the former Nabaim have Siach, saying, Yes. Thus saith Yahuwah of Sabaoth. Thus saith Yahuwah of Sabaoth. Turn ye not from your, turn ye now from your Rosha Darakim, mm -hmm. and from your Rosha doings, mm -hmm. but they did not shama, uh -huh. nor shama unto me, saith Yahuwah. Listen. Your aboth, where are they? Listen. In the Nabaim. Do they kai for alarm? Listen. But my Dabarim and my statues, which I commanded my Abedim, the Nabaim, did they not did they not take hold of your abode? And they turned and said, like as Yahuwah of Saboth thought to do unto us. You said as he did what now? Thought to do unto us. What happened? According to our Darakim. What and happened? According, according to our doings. What happened? So hath he dealt with us. Guess what they did? Mark that so you can remember. They put it down the market so you'll remember it. That's what we're going to use the market about what happened to them. Where are they? That's why he gave us a time stamp when he got him. <clears throat> Whose Ben was it? And who he was the Ben of? And what was his job? He asked you, did they live forever? And I told them to turn, and they didn't turn. But after I did vexate them, and when I called trouble on them, they considered. Guess what they did? They remember. That's right. Just like Yahuwah thought to do on us, he did it according to our ways. That's right. So guess what their Benin would have done? Zakar to remember it. That's right. Make sure you remember it. That I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do to you, and you're not going to get away from it. I'm going to wipe you out, and I'll use you as somebody they'll mark. <clears throat> we mark that Tula doll. That's right. Why y'all think we here and we considering? Because we're marking them. We're marking them. All those people dead. Why would I follow that same practice? So I marked that so I can remember it. And before they left, they came back and they testified, just like he thought to do us, 
according to our ways. He did it. What was his first sock to them to do? Turn, turn from it and your practices. And they didn't turn. And I did just like I told them I was going to do. Same thing going to happen to us. And this book that was written is going to be record on you. Because I done sent you all these witnesses. I done gave you all these testimonies. All these writings were here so you would learn from it. So this would be your, this would instruct you to keep you from doing Rosha. But just like our Abba, you won't hear, and he's going to come back and do the, like a lot of stuff a lot of us have suffered. You ain't going to believe why we're suffering. According to our ways. According to our way. Let me tell you what happens with us. We as a mass group. We've done so much and we're still in the midst of doing it. We get a couple of days where we do pretty good. Then we got these other days where we kind of back off. Then you try to do good for a couple more days or a week or whatever you might call it. Doing you kind of back off and tip off again, do something. Then you're back to doing good again. So now recompense comes. And now you're so discombobulated, you don't know if you're getting recompensed or you're just getting tested to see if you're standing. It's hard to tell are you getting your recompense for your Rosha ways or are you being tested to see if you'll stand. See, the difference with EU, we learn, EU hadn't done nothing wrong. With you, you be the judge. How long can you stay consistent? And it's the problem to come. <clears throat> I go and I commit one thing wrong. What I get? One thing as a one one thing as a recompense. Thirty seven, you sow to the wind. Now how we understand that? This man said reap a world win. Hands. Hands. Okay, the same man got one. Right or wrong, who said how many of y'all say you gonna get it right? Lay them hands, I can see it. Don't try to switch up. Rod, don't try to be on both sides of the fence this time. All right. You're on the right, I put him down. How many say you're going to get it wrong? He jumped too fast. I'm going to take a chance then. Uh-oh, me, uh -oh, me and Dex out here together. Let's see where he go with this. Let's see. See that? And y'all exactly wrong to go against me and Dex. The, the, what you just used was you're going to sow to the wind and reap a whirlwind. A whirlwind is a lot bigger than what you sow. Kind of like when you sow a seed in the ground. Mm -hmm. You get more abundant back what you put in. See, everything he gave them was something to understand. Okay? They want to just look that seven times more. You talk about sowing. Sowing is when we're putting down seed. Right? Well, you get a lot more abundant than what you put down. Right? Well, he said it's the same thing happened with your Rosh away. See, we understood that when it came to paying tithe. We understood about reaping more when we put in. We understood when we sold that in a year in town, we come pulling, you bring in a harvest. Well, he said, guess what? You sow to the wind and you reap a whirlwind. So you understood this things work more than one way. People look at, okay, I do one good thing. How I get all this? I pay my tithe. Wonder old mother from Shamaim. And pull me out, I ain't got room. Think about that. I pay my tithe. Wonder old, pull me out so much, I ain't got room to receive it. I commit one thing wrong, and get what? All hell break loose. Now, is not his way equal, or not our ways are equal? I do one little thing. Shouldn't I get paid back for that one little thing? Well, how about you pay one little tithe? How about you get one little thing back? You who try to show us all the time, we're not fair. We're not fair people. Y'all, doesn't that make sense if you think about it? That you can pay your tithe a tenth, a tenth, and get a whole wonder from Shama E.O. and ain't even enough room. How is it? Pressed down, running over. I commit one guitar and all oh, hell break out. Look like ain't nothing going right. How is we going to understand that Yahuwah is Siddiq and everything you do? Think about it. You do one thing wrong, you get one thing wrong back. Who can't do that? There ain't no reason to stop. It's the fact he's showing you, I'm the one just. He said, I'm the one Sadat. You guys are the one. You're not right. Because you think you should get one little thing when you do wrong, and you should get all this stuff you do something right, like your kid with a Christmas list. You say, hold on for a minute. You ain't did nothing for all that. 
They study name and stuff for Christmas. You see what I'm saying? And you're like, you haven't even done enough to even deserve on that. And you who will try to get us to understand. That's the same thing I'm looking at with you. You asked for a lot and you've done nothing for it. Y'all got it. So that's why it's important for us when we listen to consider. And you can't consider when you don't know enough because your, your margin of error is so large because you're really not considering when he's telling you things. He's telling you things that you should be able to understand. This is equal. You want more from me when you do right. You're expecting a whole lot. And he said, I got a lot of expectation for you because I'm looking to give it to you. But when you do wrong, you can look at severity. You can look at harsh punishment. You can look at for long and drawn out simply because this is what you measured out. I've weighed your behavior, and this is the right balance. So you who have got a balance. Everything he do, he's going to weigh it in a balance. Come on for a minute. I'm going to eyeball everything. I got some, I got some saying. I'm going to eyeball it. He go Daniel saying. He go Jesse saying. He go on uh, your saying. I'm eyeballing it. It's going to be off. You're going to say, no, I weighed it. That way, can you, that way nobody can't say he ain't jet. Because somebody might look and say, I think something, he got more than me. I weighed it. He tried to, he weighed it in the balance. He made sure whatever he gave us was just. Hello? Okay. I, I, I don't know what people are thinking. And I think when we start to rationalize things from the point of how he gives it to us, you'll see things a little differently. You'll start to consider it's just that how he does us. You might think it's long drawn out and it's overdone and it's killed. And it's some other people feel like you really have got more than I think you should have got for what you did. I don't think he should have let you have that. I don't think you should have them eyes and them ears. I don't think you should have them legs. I think it's a look. I think it's, as Dwayne said when that police officer had wrote them 18,000 tickets, I think it's excessive. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That, that thing, it's, a, it's some people ain't got no leg, and you got to, I think it's excessive. <laughs> see, it's a lot of stuff. It ain't excessive now when he's giving us too many things they ain't working for. But as soon as we get punished, and then he has a problem with that. Because he's looking at my way that went equal. Yours the one not equal. You're unequal in what you're saying because you don't feel like, not, I'm telling you, if we sat back and said, I appreciate you because it's for me as well as for you. We don't really consider when he paying her back, this is really showing the, 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 the justness of this man. For the fact of, if you will recompense me to this longer level for one thing I've done, then I got to believe that if I do a thing right, you will come back and you will recompense me to the same measure as me. When he told us that the people, according to Romans writing in, in King James, when he said he gave them people their recompense, he said, which was me. He said it was appropriate. Listen, as much as they ain't want to retain me, they ain't want to keep me, he told you that first. He told you, when Yahuwah said, I gave them, retain me, keep back. He said they didn't want to keep me in their knowledge. They became vain. They foolish heart were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, what did they do? They became fools. So, so much, he said, you know what? I gave them up. But the problem folks forget, he said, they quit me first. Folks said, man, he just gave them folk. No, I told you, they didn't, they didn't want to keep me. That's why I let them go. He like, I ain't trying to keep nobody. I don't want to keep me. He like, not me. He like, my name not Jane Brown. He like, I don't go on my knee. Please, please. He said, no, I'm not begging. He said, you love me. No, I ain't going to beg you to come back. You don't come back and you know that the right way. That's the truth. A lot of times, we have to be honest. I say for myself, I haven't been fair when he come back to recompense me for stuff. When stuff had went, we might felt like long life. I ain't done a long time. But you, guess what? How long you had your eyes? A long time. Why don't I just start doing everything short? Give you something real quick and end it right now. Like your life, like your health, like your strength, like you're going out and you're going in. I just keep everything real short. That way we don't get the numbers wrong no more. Because folks seen it come back, and I'm being with you, he get a bad rap from all of us. I'm talking about us. I ain't talking about nobody out there know it. Us. He gets a bad rap when he come back to recompense us for stuff we've done, and we feel like it should be covered, but nobody feel like, I'll be honest with you, I don't had the eye too long. How many of y'all had your eyes too long? How many of y'all been walking too long? 
How many of y'all, Dwight, uh, them leg, come on, you know, they love them. He's going to let you keep them a little longer. Because ain't nobody going to want them. You know what I'm saying? They don't want the safe four leg. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want them to see four legs, yeah. But now, so, but I'm just saying, typically, I know he was agreeing, saying we've had them too long. Who in here, how many, how many of y'all done had them hearts too long? How about them long? How many of y'all done had them too long? See, nobody don't look at that. We don't look at that. Because that stuff you don't think, think about. When you've been seeing, who think about every day that's a, a Baraka? Who get up every day thinking about blind people? I can see. That's their problem. I mean, in a, in a nutshell, I ain't saying that, but in, in, who get up thinking about, man, if people can't walk? I get up and go to, I don't get up and go to the bathroom and think, oh, man, people can't walk. I'm walking going to the bathroom. You th I'm thinking about it, I'm meditating type, but because we assume things are a given. And you look at, I allow you to use these things. And when I get ready, I take them back. Y'all don't like the process down. We wrong. We wrong people. Include me, we wrong. Because we don't consider, man, everything we go and we do is, it's all in his hands. Riding the expressway. And I asked him yesterday, what was it yesterday we Ryan and the truck hit the wall on the other side and smashed that wall and flipped over and everything? Just like it was a track trailer, it could have been a truck. Could have been a car. Could have been a motorcycle. Could have been you. Could have been you. Now, your whole world, a whole nother world, you get that trap started. I mean, then didn't think what, if he even survived and made it. Or if he survived and made it, what, he didn't make it. Oh, if he didn't make it. I mean, hey, and you know, he got to look at he made it. You think he got a job? And you think he can go get another job? When you find the damage you caused, they go on your DAC report. That's, most don't even know he got a DAC report. They go on that DAC report. No, that damage and that's it. No, you can't. You're done. What if that's all you know how to do? Truck driver made pretty good money. You tear it up, go, you just go somewhere and get another job making that. It's just a whole lot of things people don't consider. It's bigger than an accidental ticket. It's bigger. This is your life, your family. Whatever you're hurting you out. And when you get better, listen, you got to get well to get fired. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. They can't fire while you hurt. Or they're not going to, they can't do that. They got a way to get better. And they're going to fire them. They got to get out of this. It's very, very fault. Yeah, it's, it's legal at this point. You got to keep, you got to cover your illegally. And it's a, listen, if people got to deal with attorneys, if statement got to be written, if blood got to be drawn, if alcohol tests got to be made, they got checking phones, all kind of stuff. And now you got to figure, this you and all that going on, and you got to figure out, this is bad. This is bad. And a lot of y'all probably complaining about something really ain't nowhere near to the magnitude that person got to deal with. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of things you who will get up. We all wrong. I tell you, like the veil said, when he told me we're supposed to be the house of prayer, we wrong. We wrong. Include me. I ain't let me out. We wrong. Because we do. We so big. We complain so much. We don't consider, man. It's a lot of stuff that man give you, man. Your life could be a whole nother something else. They got, I forgot what state that They just owe up to Del Pitt. They got 23 they finna kill. 23, yeah. They just, listen, they just, oh, they just kicked it back in. 23 waiting to get it. 23. I forgot what state is out where. 23. What you, what you think your day like? What you think your day like when you hear that? Door old. Old spark. Back. They click that thing. Tell them why. We're back. Come out your cell that day. Jeek, jeek. Tell them why. we bad. back. Even they shooting at you, talking about inhumane. Man, I don't want to strap you down that needle going. First one, this a comment. How you know this? The next one you won't feel. Who you talk to told you that you don't feel nothing? They start going to hear kidding them or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically no pain. Even if it's no pain out, you're literally laying right here for somebody to put you out to die. Man, you who will give people some light. And you know what they do? A lot of us don't even think nothing about it. Cain in prison. Get what? Everybody don't die in prison. Some of them die right out here. You who will just put all these different ways in here so everyone will consider. Your life could be a whole nother stuff. People, a lot of stuff we all take for granted. We guilty. Including we guilty. We got to come back and back up and start looking at things saying, I got to process things different. And people, baby, we got babies, all kind of stuff around here living, kid living. If folk, they baby dead. They kids dead. They ain't getting them back. They, you can holler and scream so loud. Look, ain't nobody got up yet from the grave because nobody started hollering and screaming. Never work. Never work. Who have been tubed us? Now you got to ask yourself, how long they going to keep going? Maybe he ought to cut it out short like he ought to cut back on 
how long he give recompense back to us for our behavior. That's all. They're just trying to show you. I'm just like I told you. I'm long suffering. And he told you he was merciful. And I know me and I clear the guilty. He said, I don't want nobody thinking about a role with me guilty. I make sure I punish them all. Unlike us, we punish who we like and who we don't like. We give it how we want. Yahuwah said, not me. And all his way, he said, I'm Sadiq. I'm Sadak in everything I do. And all he want to do is get us to that same point. He said, people watching, I got to punish you. He had a group before that came through, and guess what? They had other people looking, thinking, I don't see how that man running us down. Here people do the same thing. So he make us suffer. Come on, black people, we don't ran white folk down. How terrible white, we know white people are terrible. As a system, y'all got as a system, they're terrible people, rotten people. <laughs> so are the niggas that they got. We ain't know him because we were good niggas. We are him because we were niggas that turned our back. The forefather, and we the kids of those people. Oh, we, he, they didn't come get no innocent people. They stopped that lie. Oh, we said, oh, we was a proud people. We know it. That's why he got us out. We were so proud, we wouldn't humble ourselves. Mm -hmm. We was a stiff-necked people. We was a rebellious people. You know what looked bad? The people that are ruling over us are just like we were. Yep. None caring, none affected by nothing. Regard nothing. That's how we were. And now here we are. You know what we say? How you can be like that? How can white people be like that? You know, ask yourself, how can niggas be that stupid and let go of their Allahim? How could you neglect your all Ain't nobody worse than us. You think about the rapes, the, 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 uh, the maiming, the, the suffering, the, the robbing, the hanging, the whipping, the, the, not, the not paying us for what we've done because we weren't paying tithe. We didn't pay all even no attention. He came right back and did the same thing to us. Why do you think he gave us a people like that? What did that tell you what kind of people we were? How do we think about that? What kind of people we were? No, we were some Sadiq people. We were tourists, like, like all these Hebrews, like everybody like tell lies. We was a, see, we had our own religion before we met the white man, and we were serving all the him and speaking our language. So what happened? What happened that these riding old bastards came and got us good old, good old Aubrey speaking people, serving you who are keeping Shabbat? Does that make logical sense? Because you know what we never talk about? No group talk about it. How bad of a people we really were. Right. Right. That we were that type of right people. He told us about it. We got rid of Yasharal. He told her. He said, and her sister Yehuda said she was even more treacherous. He told her that. He said, he said, you more, he, said he, he told you about the two sisters. Your cousin called told y'all that. He told you about Yasharal. And he said, and her younger sister Yehuda was more treacherous than her. We talking about Yasharal scattered. Yehuda paying for being treacherous. You didn't think he was getting away. You were worse than him. Yasharal scattered. Yehuda got to pay for what she did. How they going to look to Yasharal? You worse than me. How you going to let punishment not get? Put you right here in slavery. Make you suffer. So we need to recognize that. See, if we, how many of y'all hate this situation? Prove it by doing better. Don't say you hate it and you're still a transgressor. Because all you do is you keep adding salt to the wound. Insult the injury. If you hate it, let's do something different. That's too.